Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jennifer Huber, also known as Solo Travel Girl. And since June of 2022, I've been using Manjaro to manage my type 2 diabetes. And it really has been a miracle medication. But before I get into this week's update, I just want to remind you about my disclaimer that I am not a healthcare professional and I am just sharing my personal experience and opinion about using Manjaro to manage my type 2 diabetes. Also, I have no relationship with the drug manufacturer Eli Lilly, making, meaning I, they are not paying me to make these videos. All right, so it's been a roller coaster of a week. Um, I feel like I've hit a lot of speed bumps. I'm not calling them roadblocks, just speed bumps. But anyway, I just finished up week 40 of Manjaro. And I finished week 24 at the 10 milligram dose. And I'm filming outside and I have my door ajar and looks like my cat's trying to come out. We'll see if she, if she does that. All right, she's making her way out. I know you can't see her, but anyway. So yeah, 24 weeks down on 10 milligrams. But first, my biopsy. If you've been following along, you know that I have a nodule on my thyroid. My doctor recommended that I have it biopsied and I finally had the biopsy results this week. It's negative, yay. So I was keeping a positive outlook that yes, it was negative. And so at least that's a baseline. So I know I have a negative nodule on my thyroid. I guess the doctor will just feel it every time I go in there to make sure it's not growing. But so that's, that's the good thing for this week. Weight loss, um, I did lose two pounds this week. So I'm down to 100, 136 pounds. I didn't want to lose any weight. I was happy at 138, I was happy at 140, but now I am at 136 pounds. So that means I've lost over 60 pounds since being on Manjaro since last June. And that's a lot of weight. Um, yeah. The weight loss, that's what you can see, but I've, as I've mentioned before, it's the what you can't see on the inside as to what Manjaro has done, and um, I'll get into that a little bit later. My glucose has been in the 80s and 100s, and I had a, a A1C, or I had a blood draw last week, and my A1C went up. It was 6.0 in January, and on March 29th, it was 6.1. So it's not a big increase, but I was hoping at least to stay the same. So I don't know, am I plateauing? Am I just eating much worse? Am I not exercising? Well, yeah, I'm not doing any of those things or I am, I am eating worse. I haven't been ex exercising consistently other than walking my dog and some yoga or Pilates here and there. So, I need to kick myself in the butt. Um, but let me continue on with nutrition. I've been okay with nutrition. I did mention that I've eaten poorly. Um, I did have a business meeting this week and I, I brought my own breakfast. I did eat my own breakfast one morning. I did eat breakfast off the buffet for a couple mornings. And um, I did drink more alcohol than I have had during this whole journey i actually had a glass of wine one night and then a cocktail later that night i'm never going to do that again it just made me feel bad the next day and then i had a glass of wine with dinner it was trying to be a social one i didn't finish it one of my coworkers finished it off but so that's it for my my alcohol <sighs> let's see talked about exercising talked about my nutrition talked about my my blood so I've been feeling a little bit off lately and I've been really stressed with a project at work. And I don't know if that's the only reason. I mean, it just seems like I'm always stressed or always busy, but I put myself, basically I put myself back on my blood pressure medicine because I started taking my blood pressure and my, when I had my blood draw, my blood pressure was like 140 over 81 and it hasn't been that high in a while. So I put myself back on my blood pressure medicine medication and I think the way that I'm going to wean myself off is every other week. But also I need to step up my exercise game. I just need to do that. Um, yeah, so 
my A1C was up, put myself back on my blood pressure medicine. So I feel like I've had these, these speed bumps this week. But wait, there's more to my, my speed bumps. Um, during this, this business meeting, I left my phone in an Uber one night and that was like a freak out. Thankfully, one of my coworkers, she placed the order with Uber so we're able to, uh, there's an option to, um, if you've lost something, to connect with the driver. So the driver did found it did find it she brought it back to the hotel so all was right with the world but that was extra money that I wasn't planning on spending meaning obviously I had I, I tipped her very well for bringing my phone back because it was a lot cheaper than if I was going to go out and buy a whole new phone so I think that uber driver Lisa for for doing that and then the last thing that caused this speed bump this week here's Manjaro Surprise, it's not the next month's dose. No, my Manjaro has been on back order for almost two weeks now. Pharmacist doesn't know when it's coming in. I asked, I'm on the 10 milligrams as you know, I asked for if they have access to the next level down or the next level up. He said no, all of it's on back order except the five milligrams. So if need be, I guess I will be going on five milligrams um, as I've mentioned before, my insurance is somewhat strict as to where I need to get my medication now that I need to go through CVS because that is their pharmacy and, um, yeah. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm supposed to inject myself tomorrow. I talked to the pharmacist last week. He said they've been ordering it every day for me and just because they order it doesn't mean it's going to come on the truck. They just get whatever is sent to them. He said he looked around other pharmacies, um, other CVS pharmacies and they didn't have it as well. So, or maybe I just get off it. I don't know. I kind of feel like Cinderella and um, the end of the ball is nearing. Is the end of the ball tonight? I don't know, we'll find out. Maybe I'll come tomorrow. He knows tomorrow is my injection day. So speaking of Manjaro and insurance, I did talk to my insurance company and ask them about how much will it cost me? And they reminded me that I can go online. It's been there all along, kind of like Dorothy in the Wizard of Oz. Um, so yeah, one month prescription is gonna cost me about 220 to 250 a month. And then a three month prescription will cost, I guess, I think they say like over 600 or less than 600. Basically I will be saving $60 if I get my um, prescription in three month doses. The trick is, am I going to stay, stay on the same dose for three months? So am I, should I stay at 10 milligrams for three months? I kind of think maybe I should go down to 7.5, especially if I am losing weight more. But I guess time will tell. Right now, I guess it's a mood issue because um, I don't have any Manjaro. I don't know what I'm going to take. So those are the Roblox, the hiccups for this week, or not Roblox the speed bumps for this week. But let me tell you about the awesome thing that I did Saturday. I know there was a guess like, oh, am I going to a spa? No, I went, I went on, I went with Florida shark diving. I, I, I swam with the sharks. I got in the water where there are at least two bull, bull sharks and it was the most exhilarating, thrilling thing I've done in a long time. Um, the company again is called Florida Shark Diving out of Jupiter, Florida, and it was wild. Um, I know it sounds intimidating, and once I got in the water, I'm like, holy cow, what am I doing? But it was so cool. Basically, your guide gets in the water, finds a fish, they do chop up fish and have like chum-like attractants to attract the sharks, and the sharks are there and you're eye to eye with a shark now there were bull sharks on my trip it just you just never know what kind of sharks are going to be there the way that my week was going i didn't think the trip was going to happen because the winds were very gusty and when i was looking out on the water on thursday i'm like there are white caps out there there's no way this trip's going to go if the, the water is like this if the waves are like this 
and Friday night they sent a notification out, an email stating that it's going to be a game day call because of the winds. They're not sure what the winds are going to do. And so I got up Saturday morning, got out to the marina at 7.30, hoping that the trip was on. I did take some Dramamine. I brought my Zofran. I bought some motion sickness gum that has ginger in it. I was going to be prepared because I am prone to motion sickness. I've gotten sick on boats a couple times when it's very choppy. And I didn't want this to happen in case the boat went out. But anyway, the boat went out. There were two other guests on there, which was nice. So there are only three of us in the water. And really, you hang on to a rope. And sharks are being fed, not by you, by, by someone in, con in control. And yeah, the sharks behaved. It was very cool. And I don't have any photos or videos to show you now. I did buy the, buy the photo and video package. And I'll put something together so you can view it on YouTube just to see what it was like. But... It was amazing. It's going to get me over this little hump until I can have some time off. And speaking of, yeah, I've been planning a early summer trip, so I'm excited about that. But so, yeah, I'm, I'm trying not to be discouraged about all that happened last week and especially the unknown of what's up with Manjaro. Um, I'm disappointed that my A1C was up, but it just lets me know what I need to do to get back there. Oh, that's good, right? So there's still some time left in the day. I'm hoping to, I don't know, go ride my bike or something. Just take advantage of this, of more daylight, right? But that's enough about me. I hope everything is going well with you. I'm sure it's going well with you. You know, hang in there. Keep it up. Keep on doing what you've been doing. Have an awesome week and thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your comments and for your viewing. I do appreciate you. And I do wish you well on your journey. Remember, everyone's journey is going to look a little bit different. But just stay the course. You know, refer to your doctor and everything will be okay. And we will have long, happy lives, right? Yes. All right. Be kind to yourself and be kind to your others this week. Thanks for watching. Bye.